What is going on guys? It is Fast Furious Kilo 3 here today. I will be showing up. I've actually done this last video. Um, I was doing an unboxing, but I kind of just ruined it because I did another video. I'm going to be posting that video again. So it probably is going to be like two intros now. So I'm sorry guys. But um, I'm going to post that video and this video because um, I realized my phone was like this. Like it was straight up. And it should be sideways, so you guys like so I ain't seeing on computer, seeing so on computer, so seeing on computer that you guys uh, see it correctly, or on your phone, and you have it sideways, you guys can see it. It's not all standing up like this. So yeah, um, you guys saw the last video, and from literally this is like seconds ago, cause just messed it up. But here's the update on it. Um, I just took these the two wheels off. This one was wiggling pretty bad in the hub, pretty bad. This is the damage in the rear. Play a little bit. It's wiggling. They're all wiggling. But, um, guys, you know, these are the front wheels. These are the rear wheels. I also did notice they came with decals. Well, black decals. And these are not to replace the one silver ones here. They, I think they're either put like here, here, or in the back or something. So, yeah. So, I'll be right back. And I'm going to kind of clean up the label them and all that stuff. So, I'll be right back. Wow, I literally just put this one on because I put the left front left or whatever on this one. I have not put it in yet. I have not pulled it on as you can see because both nuts are right here, which I'm not. I'm going to be taking these off. I'm going to go get Bigfoot, which is right here, actually. And I'm also, um, and a sec, actually, I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, this one of the pieces and uh, this is, if you guys can tell, and connect it with this and this cover and everything, this is the new light bar that goes on the stand on Bigfoot. But the problem is, this base is the light it's for lights. My mom said if it didn't have five, five, it, it, I couldn't put it on because it had a originally a uh, five setup light. But as you can see. It barely fits. It's like really wide. So I'm probably going to be cutting this up a little bit. Making it sit a bit more flush. With the top of it. So yeah, hopefully. So I was also thinking about putting on the roof. But this looks dumb. And I don't want to put it here because that's too just too, way too close. Like on the roof is fine. But I don't want to do that. I want to put it like right here. That was my intention. Let's see if either I can lower it a bit. So I was trying to see if like maybe I can put it in here, in like well like in between, because that looks pretty cool. But that doesn't work. I think I actually might just leave it there. Give me you guys y'all's opinion. Should I put it front, um, right here towards the back or on the roll cage? Something. Just give me give me y'all's opinion. Or should I put it like right here, which actually looks really stupid. Or maybe like under where under like for the bumper, which. Looks very dumb, sorry. Looks very dumb. But yeah, just give me y'all's opinion. I don't know. That actually looks pretty cool. It's pretty good. And I also will be um putting these wheels on Bigfoot and seeing how it is. Because, oh wow, they're about, the tire's a little bit thicker, but it looks pretty cool. So, let's continue with this one. So guys, I'm not putting it on yet, but this is with the silver nut and this is with the blue nut it's not really blue anymore because for how many times I've taken it off wow this thing looks nice me personally I actually prefer the uh, silver ones because they match the wheels so for right now I'm gonna put these on which are from Bigfoot as you can see I took the wheel off these tires are nasty uh, but yeah, I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this side on and do it with the silver ones Then I'll do the other side and Then yeah, and then I'll, I'll show you also the condition of the other side as well. I'll do a um, comparison and Then I'll show you guys hopefully if I can do it a before and after Yo, this looks pretty sick. This is actually with it on Yeah, it's a little bit off balance. I think it's because it's hitting the bed. Yeah, it's just hitting the bed. So, it's really cool. Be right back. Yo, guys, this looks lit. 
I really like these. They're a bit shaky. That's because of the, you know, the hubs are worn out. The axles. The axles, there we go. They're worn out, like, really bad. Like, when you turn, it goes like, hee, and hee. Like, right turn. Ah, left turn. Ah. And I've noticed before, after, the tread pattern is different. And I really, really like this tread pattern. Like, I really like it. So, let me go get on the other side, and I will show you the other side. So guys, this is the other side. By the way, State Farm does not sponsor this. I am not sponsored at all because I don't even have any. I don't really have any. I have like 20 subscribers. That's it. Which I'm happy for because before I was. Yeah. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. I love all my viewers. Um. So this is the back. Well, not, not the back. Well, this is the back. But this is the other side. And also, um, this is like really, really easy to squish. And this is kind of hard. Like you can see like. Like, same force, like, one, two, three. Same force, one, two, three. Like, I'm literally doing the exact same force. And it's really, really, like, it's tougher. So I think it uh, would do better, like, for the mud, because those won't. Those definitely don't. So, yeah, let me get the other wheels. Let me uh, stock the other stock wheels. Oh, they're right here. I'm using these as jack stands right now, because I currently... Don't have a lift for a RC truck. So yeah, let me be right back. I'll put these on and I'll be right back. I just noticed this too. It is really bad with blade. Look, that is very, very, very bad. This isn't as bad. I think it's because actually... No, this is the thing. The whole thing is messed up. I thought maybe because it was this was like... Broken or something? No, this is this is very bad. I really need to get these hubs, axles fixed. Well, new ones. So probably when I get money, hopefully they're not that much. Should be able to fix them. This was not that bad. The funny thing is, the front ones take more of the abuse, but the rear ones are the more more ruined ones. Especially this one. This was really bad. Like, like. I just really don't want it to go like snap and everything just snaps off and I lose a tire because then I'll be having to go on a spare. Because these are now my spares if I lose one. Actually, if I lose one, I'm going to have to buy another one. So I'll be right back. By the way, this is not 4x4. Four four. I just wanted this. I just could not take it off with a 4x4 four four on it. Um, this is only rear wheel drive, as you can see. This is freewheeling. This is not... It's doing that. It's it's open diff, by the way. It just sucks. If it was if it was LSD or welded diff or something like that, that would be really really cool. I'm gonna do mad um burnout. So we lit. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna take off this stuff and show you guys the damage of both of them. Oh my gosh, those tires are nasty. So the condition of this one is so about the same as the other left one. This one. That is a lot of play. The just the axles are really worn out. Like they just have like a lot of play. Like look at that. That is a lot of play. Focus camera. Like look at this. There's a lot of play. A lot of play. And it doesn't even like literally. I'm doing that much and nothing is happening. So, fingers crossed I can fix this soon. But, I'm going to go ahead and get this wheel out, because this is on the package. Let's see. Come out! There we go. Nice. Ah, it was the front one. This is the real one. Okay, cool. So... I shall go put these on, and then I'll show you guys the whole truck. Okay, so I've actually just now taken all the all four wheels off. Big foot. Sorry, I was leaning that one side because I had to take these two off. So I will be putting these blue ones on the. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my bed. But be putting these blue ones on Big Foot, and it matches because it's blue-ish. I need to get new nuts. I'm gonna put get like some green ones or something, like some dark green ones, and put them in the center. And like make these all black. Like so I like take these off. Like one by one. Like I do one, paint it, 
let it dry, put it back on, and then do that. Because if I take this all off, I believe the uh, wheel is just going to come completely apart. So I think this is what is holding the wheel. Sorry. I think this is what is holding the wheel, the, the studs here. Okay, so I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to do a um, show for you guys. Wow, guys, I really like this. Like, this is, like, look at this thing. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, that steering angle though. Wow. Yo, yo, yo. Before, after. Hell yeah. Wow, sorry for me shaking the phone. I'm sorry, guys. This looks totally transformed. Like, look, it looks so totally transformed. Like, look at the original wheels next to it. Like, it looked good before, but then you move them out of the way, and it's like, whoa. That is lit. Like, I wanted to do, like, a panning view, and, like, have it, like, really slow, and I do, like, and, like play, like, music in my background. Actually, I'm going to try to do that. See if you guys like it, I'm, until I get a new editing software. Yo, I'll spare in the back. Haha. <laughs> and now, guys, the big finish. Oh my god. This looks lit. Like, look at it. It's kind of all over the place because I haven't really aligned them that good yet. But this thing looks freaky. Awesome. Love it. And by the way, this was all me. Except the body and everything. So basically, the wheels and the lights were me. And the stickers. No, my dad did this. My bad. My, my, my dad is, that was it, that was it. These stickers and stuff like that. Once I look oddly placed, yeah, those are me. Other than that, everything else my dad, uh, the springs, um, are different. This is different. Motor is different. Wheelie bar is new. Well, no, I'm just kidding. That is old. But, yeah, guys. And also, I will be trying to, I'm going to do the, I'm going to take these wheels off real quick. I'm going to put them on Bigfoot. I'm going to see how you guys like it. I'm going to see if you guys enjoy it. So, hey, guys. Um, this is not the end of the video yet. But uh, if you guys like this type of content, please let me know. And I will be right back with uh, Bigfoot. Okay, guys. This is a badass monster truck. So, on this one, um, I have the uh, Bronco-style headlights with the side markers. Hopefully, don't get it fall off. And also the taillights. Normally on the, on the Bronco, it'd be a reflector, so you wouldn't really see this that much. And, uh, uh, where is it? Sorry, there's so much dirt wear, but... There's, uh, pieces of the grill here. I'm gonna be putting them probably back on. Like that or something. Like, little bits of it. And, uh, yeah, so this is... How it would look? With those wheels. And, um, and also with the other original wheels of Stampede, I already put them... Them there. Yeah. Um, those are the original wheels that came with Bigfoot. So I will be, eventually, I will be getting new wheels for Bigfoot. Eventually. And I will be doing a video of being doing that light bar. Right there. With all the stuff. And also it's a new light kit. And I got new fellas in my dad's truck. And I got LED lights for cars. So yeah, I will be right back guys, putting the wheels back on and doing a little bit of a driving for you guys. So I will be right back. Okay guys, let's fire it up. Haha, -ha, running. Actually, where's the controller? There it is. Oh, this sucks. Mm -hmm. I will be right back, guys. I need to fix this real quick. Let's see, guys, if I can get you guys. Be right back. 
Let me see. Sorry guys, I accidentally hit play, so you guys are gonna see me set up my phone. Okay, guys. Sorry. Sorry for that. Let me... Sorry if it shakes. It's kind of weird how I set it up. spare time. Okay, guys, well, thank you guys for watching. This is, this is the end of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Probably, I didn't, sorry I didn't film that much. Um, and I had a lot of cuts and everything. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, because it was, like, it's really hard to change wheels with one hand. Well, on a real car, it's, like, you to take the nuts off, and that's it. And it kind of, if you're strong enough, you can take it off with one hand. Or, like, you can put it to the side or do something like that. But, uh, you gotta hold it for this one. Um, the, uh, new wheels, I really like them. I love the tread pattern on them. The wheels look great. But the uh, problem is, the rear wheels on the axles, they're really wobbly. So, like, literally do this. Just constantly. So, they're just really wobbly. So, fingers crossed the, uh, axles don't snap. And a couple of days, I'm gonna go... Shop online, see how much the axles are, see if I can get a card or something, or ask my parents if I can use theirs and get um, new axles for the uh, for a Stampede. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll, that I would have to have my dad have to do because I don't know how to do that yet. Um, I will hopefully be doing a video on the fog lights for the truck, for the Yukon. And uh, yeah, guys, well, thank you guys for watching. And today's next time, guys, is... Sorry. Till next time, guys, this is Fast Fears Kill Theater signing out, saying have a great night, guys. And see you guys next video. Peace. Oh, my God. Why won't it close? Okay. Peace, guys. Sorry. I'm looking in the mirror. Bye, guys.